Suppage, supper, supperuni, supple, ooh, supple, like uh, supple stuff, um, suppers, saw, saw. Tom Cruise playing Iron Man in Doctor Strange. Is that? Did, does that happen? Is this happening? Ooh, a wanker gave. Wait, a wanker. Gave gave that some subs. That's very cool. Uh, search it up, please. Uh, let's see. Uh, I just. Watched the Celtics game. That was exciting. And I, I'm gonna do something different with you guys. Guys, I, I know I'm gonna put up my stuff on SoundCloud. I didn't been saying that, but uh, it's gonna happen. Ellen Pompeo says, Catherine Heigl was ballsy and ahead of her time. She called out the insane hours she worked filming Grey's Anatomy. Sounds like eh. Sounds like whatever. Um. All right, let me put this window. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Eh. We're gonna look at my my Bing feed, and, and I can go over the news with you. Like some, like we should really have a news show on this channel, right? I mean, we're so into news on this channel. Uh, oh wait, I have the setup wrong. Whoops. Let me fix something. One second. Then let me just so I have a guest on today who's like already basically on, but uh, he's got to set some stuff up, and I'll introduce him when he's got the stuff set up. All right, let's see. Why Elon Musk believes woke mind virus and wokeness are threats to modern civilization. Uh, I don't know, because he's, like, super rich. Doesn't have to str struggle, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Alright, what? Tom Cruise. Tom... Cruise, Iron Man, Doctor Strange 2, okay, ooh, they're doing What's Secret up? Wars, what's up Sam, are you on, oh I'm on, alright give me one yeah. second and I'll set this little bitch up, <laughs> you want me to sc uh, just screen share right, uh, yeah, I mean, er, what I was saying is you could, um, you could broadcast, do you use OBS? Oh yeah, you want me to do virtual cam? Yeah, do virtual cam, and then you can like be in control of your own screen and shit. 
Oh, okay, cool. I like the sound of that. Here, let me... I'm gonna do... Do this. And then... Sorry, this should really be a set-up forehand thing, but I'm just... <laughs> seated totally my pants in it. Uh... Wait, bud, say something. Hello, hello, bud here. Oh, you're a little loud. All right, let's say something again. Hello, hey, hello, what the hell? I think the audio hello? is a little bit better. Okay. Okay. Uh, and this is just yeah. on me. This isn't you. This don't, you don't. Do oh, anything. okay. I do this. All right. I'll, I'll be cool. Uh, okay. And then. Set you up. Okay. And you still can't see us because... Okay. Okay. D D D S. Yeah. Hello. Uh, who's who's adding new things to new episodes? Wait, so my There are streaming servers that plays new episodes of Better Call Saul, or do I have to wait till the full seasons come out on Netflix? Uh, interesting. Yeah, AMC Plus, I think it's what people say. Uh huh. Um, are you, you, all right, tell me when you're ready with that virtual cam, okay? It, uh, Zoom, I don't know, but Zoom completely froze on me, so I gotta... Oh. Well, if it doesn't work this way, it doesn't work this way. We'll figure some shit out. You'd watch Choose or Die. Not bad. There's something about the poster of Choose or Die where it makes me feel like it looks like... Th like 3D without being 3D to me. Doctor Strange 2, new report about MC. All right, so this is the report being debunked. We're only two weeks away from Doctor Strange 2. Can you believe it? We're almost two weeks away from one of the biggest superheroes just being in a. Uh, Oh no, but I oh, think that ain't I have, that ain't right. I have to. <laughs> I think I can kick you. Yeah, kick. <laughs> I don't know what the how that happened. Make host? No. Remove. No. Don't report. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, cool. I think. Oh whoa. Oh no. We're in the. Okay. Whew. Guys, oh, we no, are in the matrix. We really are. Uh, what up, guys? What up? What up? Oh, no, he's too big. <laughs> okay, Chaos. all right. So you're going to take advantage of the bottom corner there? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I might even do just half and half. All right, let me just make sure, because I'm, I'm only using half of your... Oh, I'll move my little box wherever you want. You know that about me. 
Because that sounds. Did you mean for yeah, that to you sound know that about so me. naughty? Hey man, that, what? Because I'm not the th- I'm not the thought police. That sounded dirty. Whatever you, however you want to feel, you just feel that way, you know. Uh, why don't you put yourself? Or actually, actually, that's good where you are. Okay. Uh, let me. I'm gonna move us around to kind of adjust to where you are, though. Oh, I gotta pull up your chat. Yeah, pull up my chat. So just know, I'll, I'll set something mm-hmm. up so if if we want to show your full screen, we can do that. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, cool. As long as you can get the... Uh, do you see the upper right uh, like program monitor in After Effects? No, I see your your Twitch. I see oh, your browser shit, sorry. right now. <laughs> it's not it's not connected to that right now. So I'll, I'll what about right now, like can you see now? Now I up- see After Effects. I see the upper left. Oh, okay, I might have to move. Okay, uh, my active I, camera. I see the the left side, like the <laughs> timeline. Like halfway, all right, all right. like where your ma- mouse is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one viewer window. Do you want me to show the other part? Uh, no, it's okay. <laughs> whatever you, well, whatever you want, man. This is the first time I've, I've I've done this type of guesting where I'm like, hey, let's do like creative stuff on. So, you're, so the you're the, the only thing here. is the thing I'm working on is like on the right <laughs> but i'm trying to figure out how to move it oh right, wait hold on i'm gonna set up I don't... a couple more <laughs> windows so i can so i can just uh jump around sorry chat uh duplicate okay all right split so this is here. one that i'm in all right now we're gonna have one that's just Bud. I'll be very small inside of. What were you saying? Here. Inside of what? I'll I'll be here in your window. Mmm. In this one. I like the sound of that. You oh yeah yeah okay so now here. All right, now I'm in your window. You got the, you got it. You can talk to chat. All right. So guys, this is this is Bud Diaz. Uh, Bud is of the comedy group Power Violence. Ew. Uh, I can see. introduce myself, Sam. Yeah, yeah. Introduce yourself. Hmm. My name is Bud Diaz. Happy 420. Mm. Um, um, what the hell do I do? What do we do? I'm a comedian and um, an editor and director amongst other things. And I like goofing around in After Effects and hanging out with my friends. He likes goofing. Hey, everybody. He likes toofing. Hey, meat boy. Thanks, uh, Tommy. Yeah, and I thought it'd be fun if we both kind of like made stuff on a stream. Yes, I am. Uh, I am elbow deep in a creation right now. Ooh, that means you're fisting the creation, doesn't it? <laughs> when you put it that way, yes. All right, and you know what? You know what I have to do. What do you gotta do? What's what's your creation first? Let's let's talk about your creation. Okay, so I had this idea. Hold on, let me finish chewing this last pistachio. We're waiting. All right, hold for pistachio. Sorry about that. Um, you know how like in the old movies, uh, they'd have like people sitting in a car and then the background would be moving, but the car was just bouncing up and down. Yeah. Classic, yeah. like early movie magic. 
like it would be like like a practical background that's moving, not like a, exactly a projector. Like it's like a a, a roll yeah. of paper. Exactly. Whoa. Hold on. Oh, I think someone just uh, started following me because the sound played um, through OBS. It, was, it took uh. me by surprise. Um, uh. So, like, I had this idea. It had came to me in a dream. Uh, hey, oh, Skeleton Blood. Um, so the idea was that it was like a wolf and it was like running through a wooded pasture. And then you zoom out, the camera pulls out, and it's like a wolf running on a little platform. But then the background is rotating in like a circle. Like the the wolf's on like a a, treadmill? Yeah. Yeah, the wolf's on like a treadmill, right? Oh, thanks, Nate. And then it pulls out, and you see that it's like, oh, it's just all these like animals on these tracks and it's like the meaning it's like the meaning of life you know it's like all these animals are just like running their little their little gimmick but like they're all in like the greater space and they're almost like atoms in a way where they're like not touching each other but kind of floating around so So, i'm going to try and create this thing i saw in my dream so you're gonna come on my show and you're gonna be like Hey, you're going to come on my show on 420. Yeah. And you're going to be like, hey, you ever think about how maybe we're just wolves running on a track uh. <laughs> with the back and the background's moving, but like we're not. And that's like the thing that like makes all of us. Yeah. Basically, I'm going to do that. <laughs> it is true, though. Like I know, right? If you do think about it, I actually th- th- this this occurred to me the other day. Uh, one of the dumbest statements ever must be like, you know, if you think about it, because uh, like when you say you know, if you think about it, and then say something, it's usually like completely wrong. Like when you go like, you know, if you think about it. Trump was actually a great president. Right. You yeah. So, you know, that's, that never segues into something you like you want to ingest. Um, yeah. I've had, you know, if you think that. about it, it's like white men who are being discriminated against. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just realized the other day that, like, the the timeless reaction that's been like um dick put in like movies and comics and everything maybe not even movies but like is when someone gets scared say they see like a mouse right or a bat or something yeah in comics and stuff like they always say eek E-E-K. That was, I was doing a crossword puzzle, and that was a crossword puzzle answer and recently. I've never, like, in one time in my life, ever heard anyone say eek yeah. as a reaction. It's just, like, not a real thing. But yet, it's everywhere. Yeah. It's everywhere. It's so weird. Like, I, I would be shocked if I... I bet Timmy does. I would be shocked if I saw someone in real life just like make, make the eek sound. I'd be like, "Oh, you you fuck you do that? You do that? You're the first one." Uh, uh, someone in chat says they do it. Nymix, are you saying about the if you think about it stuff that I said? Uh, <laughs> because yes, I also hope no one clipped that stuff. Um, uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, you know what always blows my mind? What is it? This is for, for you 420ers out there. But do you... That's me. Do, do you, are you friendly? 
I think that's the good shorthand now. It's not even are you 420 friendly? It's like, yo, yo, dude, you friendly? <laughs> yeah, this, uh, yeah, this isn't, uh, this stream is friendly, right? Uh, I, I am not friendly, actually. Oh, no. I used to be very friendly, and then I had to stop being friendly. Um, Maybe I should, but I should go. I miss, I miss the culture. I miss the camaraderie. There's, there's so much, but it's just not for me. Um, well, you miss the fashion. You used to tell me that all the time. Oh yeah, no, that yeah, is, that's primarily that is you miss true. the fashion. Yeah, I miss the fashion. I miss the posters. You know, uh, you miss the aesthetic. Really, the aesthetic, it comes yeah, down to it. Aesthetic. It was very Sam. You know, it just. There is something like how long have you lived in LA? Um Oh no, 12 I'm, years. I'm going to pretend I'm stoned and I think that'll be better. Oh, I've lived oh, okay. in LA 12. When did you move here? 2010. Oh, so did I. We moved the same year. What the hell? What the hell? Uh That's crazy. So and We're only just meeting now. Yeah, this is the first time we've ever met. <laughs> uh Nico. So, were you going to dispensaries the whole time? Mm, no. I was like... I mean, when that happened, when, like, recreational weed was legal or whatever, it's like, okay, now I'll smoke, I guess. But I never really did. Oh, really? You didn't, you didn't go before? No, not really. See, I'm the opposite. I'd smoked way too much. Well, you're a rebel. Yeah. You used to have a, a roommate that grew weed. Damn. That's fun. No, um, you did. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I smoked yeah, I your, did. Your, your roommate's weed that he he grew himself. I, that was Whoa, that was really? Fun. Yeah. Holy cow. Um, I do miss, like... Didn't you... You had a roommate beef. that, like, lived in your basement that, like, grew weed. Oh, yeah. Okay. I forgot about the thing is I see my life in like chapters <laughs> and I'm only currently thinking back to this current this chapter. Current chapter. Of okay. Yeah. So I would have never even thought to be like, is Sam referencing something from chapter two? <laughs> no way. But like, then he, you were. I like how five years ago was chapter two. It's like, I know. I think it's based <laughs> right. on like, I think it's based on locations, yeah. like wherever I moved, you know. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Ryan Scott Atkins says you're currently in the "if you think about it" chapter. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, I used I, I was moved to LA, and I was immediately like, "Oh, the first thing I'm going to do is get my license so that I can." get my medicinal weed card and start going to dispensaries. So I've been going to dispensaries this whole time. And then like once it was legal, I was like, "Uh, oh, gross. I was like, oh, you, oh, do you mean nerds are going to start smoking pot? Okay, I'm mm -hmm. out. Um, but Remember like every comedian had a joke about like your, your weed doctor excuse? Like, oh yeah, I have glaucoma. <laughs> <laughs> glaucoma was a big one. They always yeah. use glaucoma. That must have been in a movie or something. Well, I mean, that's but that's the thing is that like that was I think the first like early excuse was like there was all those those jokes about the excuse, and I feel like all those those weed <laughs> jokes were about uh, themselves in the situation. And it's yeah. like, guys, like, look around. The situation yeah. of going to the weed doctor is absurd. It would be like... It, it was the weirdest circumstance for anyone to call themselves a doctor. Sure, like, sure. I went to a weed doctor once, and it was, like, awkward. Because that guy was lonely. Aw. And, like, just like one needed friends. a bud. Uh, he just like he was like reading the paper, and once he found out I like worked in comedy, he was like, "Oh, this is my shot." And, wow! Uh, he told me he had a script that 
he tried to sell, but he was like, in, in Hollywood, you can't make the, the Jews the bad guy. No one clip that. That's a quote from this other guy. And I was, just had to be like, yeah. <laughs> was it uh, Was it like Venice Boulevard? <laughs> Was it, it, the boardwalk? It, it was like the guy got kicked out of Venice Boulevard and like had to oh, go to shit. Eagle Rock. Oh no! <laughs> he was he was very Venice Boulevard tan, but on the east side. Uh, but uh, my point is, is that like those situations were absurd. Like the weed stores were always the most absurd excuses for a business. They all like because it's all like they all expected to get shut down at any point. It was all like, you know, like that. It felt like a front. Like it felt like, like, hey, yeah. like, like their their interior decoration was like a poster that had Bob Marley playing poker with Tony Soprano. Oh uh, yeah, I remember that scene. <laughs> yeah. Season finale. I'll never forget. Yeah, that's a that was a good episode of the Marleys. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but that's I miss that. I miss like I went into a we a dispensary once, and mm -hmm. there was a woman talking to a guy, and it was clear that this guy did documentaries about people selling weed getting arrested, and he was now being introduced to this woman who got arrested for prostitution. For like running some sort of brothel type thing uh, and the whole time she was trying to play it off like no but it's like really fucked up with, without being like you know prostitution's fucked up but being like oh it's we're not selling sex we're selling spiritual cleansing and then whatever they do behind closed doors they're adults and can exchange that for money uh, and there's just this documentarian be like, it sounds like kind of like prostitution. And they're like, but it's not. It's <laughs> spiritual healing. We're just cleansing them of their cum. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Um. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna call it that now. <laughs> so, uh. honey. Spiritual cleansing time. Yeah. Dispensary. It's 630. It's 632. <laughs> you know what time that is. Guy, I just need my chakra healed. <laughs> my chakra has a morning boner. Uh, hey, Sam, I have a question. I was watching Superman, the animated series, and Clark got thrown off a bridge. So my question is, don't you think he's falling someone if he's falling don't you think as he's falling someone would see him change and where does his clothes wallet keys go uh that is true that's a very good question uh maybe he's good at like looking around and waiting for that opportune time uh and can like really quickly like ditch his clothes so uh that's like you know that's something but also suspension of disbelief i have uh, a theory what is that his clothes okay imagine this right you know I how think, a parachute I know going with this you know how a parachute comes out of a backpack but then extends to a mighty big parachute it basically reverses that. It's like the it's, it's like, like the sails from the ships in Star Wars kind of. They're he's like, like a popple. Yeah. You remember popples? What's that? They're like little stuffed animals that would like zip up into balls. Yeah, bingo. Yep. Yeah. You got a, a, a popple close. Yeah. Next um, question. Next question, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh Oh, uh, really quickly, I want to take this moment to plug uh, my sketch class. I'm doing another sketch class, guys. Uh, another level one. We're about to start in uh, May, at the beginning of May, uh, over Zoom. So you can take it from anywhere. This is sketch comedy writing. It's eight sessions. I can 
email you all the details. Just email me at samwkukclass at gmail.com. samwkukclass at gmail.com. And I can email you the info. And even uh, RSA, I saw that. Thank you. Um, even if you just are just curious about the info, just drop me a line. I can send you the info on that. Um, the first session, uh, I've, I finished one class and uh, still have the other class left to finish. I did two classes and it went great. I, it felt a lot like other sketch classes did, but it felt different and cool and uh, I had a lot of fun. Deja was there. Sorry to plug. No, I like it. Huh. It reminds me that you're doing stuff, you know, uh, and it's good. It makes I mean, you're the doing stuff. My heart. Can we look at your at the thing you're doing? I'm trying to figure. I'm I'm not kidding. I'm literally trying to figure out how to move the window over here. Oh, uh, uh, you see the? Is it locked? It looks like Ugh. it's locked. Oh, okay, how do I unlock it? You see, uh, wait, this is just, I'm looking at the the OBS window, and it's kind of small. Um, no, I'm th I mean through, like, After Effects, in After Effects. Yeah, 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 in After Effects. See how uh, above the window on the left, that composition window is locked? There's a lock above it. If you click that. Okay, now it's locked. Oh, now it's locked, okay. Yeah, right, yeah. Now, now unlock it. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was, it was locked. Uh. Here you could also try this. You could click uh, in the top right. Uh, one of those things will do layout and just do like original layout in the top right. Or you can do windows. Yeah, windows. Ah, uh, original layout. Or I forget you, what it is. What the uh, undocked panels? No, I mean. You want me doctor undocked? Um, all panels? Yeah, do all panels. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. Oh shit! Everything's all separate now. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Fuck. <laughs> wait. Let me look at. Let, no me look, let me open up After Effects and I'll look at my After Effects. I. Oh god! I, all I want to do is fucking click and drag it. Okay. Wait. <laughs> well, if you undock the panel, then you can click and drag it. Okay. Because it's docked, which means that it's like locked in. <laughs> right, but it's like. But this is like one. <laughs> one like menu on in a dock. Oh, Wait, God. If you click. All right. So you see how there's a little like uh, gear with some settings in it in the top right? It says sync settings. Oh, yeah. And then to the left yeah. of that, there's oh, okay. little two, two double arrows. Uh, uh, the little hamburger, you mean? Oh, you got hamburger. I got double arrows because I'm on the windows. Or you? Wait, no, I'm on windows too. <laughs> hey, no, no. Uh, uh, the top. You see where the search bar is? Uh huh. Uh, yep. And then I see the wrench. You see that, and then to the right of that. Oh, just click. Uh, default. What's that do? Oh, good. To the left. Burakasha. Did that do it? All right. No, I mean, it's still... I'm just trying to get the active camera on the... Oh, wait. Actually, I think I, I'm an idiot. I know what to do. Oh, you just choose what? Yeah. Never mind. Wow. That's embarrassing. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, cool. Can you kind of see what I'm doing a little? Yeah. Okay, cool. Whew. So now they can see my active camera. Yeah. I haven't even looked at the stream. Do I even look cool? Let me see. Away, stork away. Sorry I'm late playing as John Benet Ramsey in a D&D &D campaign and I had to kill some banshee. 
banshees. I don't know why the hell you would pick John Benet Ramsey as your character. She famously got murdered. Multiverse John Benet Ramsey. John Benet Ramsey verse. John Benet Rambo. Yes, there you go. How, why would you we write sketches for a living? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> is that you be some kind of some kind of sketch artist? If you want to come up with ideas like that, just uh, just email me, at <laughs> Sam WKUK class at gmail dot com. All right. All right, let's get after it. So right now, I've got this camera slowly pulling out. I guess when you use the Cinema 4D ray tracing engine in After Effects, you like the the depth of field doesn't work in like the camera options, so you you have to fake it. So I had to add like some blur. Oh, so you're, you're blurring. Yeah, it's dumb. Manually. <laughs> okay. But I mean, in a way, though, it's kind of almost easier Yeah. to just do it. If everything's, like, steady, you know, but meaning, like, your keyframes start and stop around the same time. Wait, are we all muted? Oh, shit. <clears throat> Damn, that was some good conversation. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah, we're not. All right. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Lydia Petunia. That's all a, right. Time that's actually a, a really Newman. good, harmless... Really good harmless chat prank is just yeah. to say that it's muted. <laughs> You'd be surprised how much that gets played on me. <laughs> um. Okay, so we got Wolf coming in. Now, what is this Wolf? So this Wolf, what I wanted to do was draw the Wolf because I got my iPad and I can do drawings. But... Um, then I just got lazy and wanted to get right to it. So I just found like someone made an animation of a wolf uh, over like a green screen. So okay. I just I just took that. It's, it's all temporary. We're just work, working with it, you know. Cool. Couldn't just get in the concept. We'll have original art if it gets to that later down the road. Cool. That makes sense. It's a good way to do yeah. it. Yeah. Abby wants to know if there's a SSS this weekend. S self suck Saturday. Do you know what self suck Saturday <laughs> is? No, but I'm obsessed with self sucking. <laughs> we we <laughs> made this. Uh, we made a deal. That Love if it. if we ever got, uh, if we ever got a thousand followers or a hundred thousand followers. Oh, okay. I'm like, that's not that much, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If we ever got a hundred thousand followers on Twitch, Timmy would have to get a perm and do yoga to train himself to actually suck himself off on stream off camera sure would you stream the audio <laughs> yeah i think if you so filmed it? i imagine i think we would ha i think we would have a camera that that is like maybe like if he called no he has to, he has to wear tube socks i think we would have a camera jesus where uh we could see it mm -hmm. you know and but wait, so, he has to train for this, right? Yeah, you'd have to train for it to actually do it. Yeah. Oh man, he should write um, <laughs> <laughs> the president. He should write like up, <laughs> like updates on the progress, and then he and then part of it is like uh, he has to also pay for like a British narrator from Fiverr to like read his notes <laughs> to like read his no. updates. Fuck that. We would get an Attenborough. <laughs> Hell yeah. We would, <laughs> Get an Attenborough to help us out. Or we'd, we'd hire NFL films. Oh, of course, yeah. It was a cold day in Watertown, South Dakota when Timmy Williams. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, the perm. How much yeah. 
how much press do you think that would get? I mean, I can see the newspaper headlines. Huge photo, huge text, just says <laughs> they're back. <laughs> and then it's just like, you know, so, hey, if you don't, if that's something you don't want, then, you know. Yeah. Go ahead and you know, not do that. But if that's something you want to do, then, you know, you steer the course. Yeah. Oh. Abby Sally says we should get it funded and broadcasted like the guy who walks over volcanoes. Yeah. Like a David Blaine thing. I like that. <laughs> so I got to show Wolfie running for a little. And then I'm going to like settle on it and then do like a big pull out <laughs> and yeah. it'll be like cool, big background, maybe like a cosmic space background. I'll put like a, like a 3d curve on it. Now what I'm saying, yeah, you know what, you know what this could be cool for, <laughs> for my reel, for your reel, but it could be cool for like a production card. Like if these Ooh. rings like flip around. Oh yo, what if that's become, my calling? They come bees and it's like Okay. But yeah. B A D. I like that. It, cause yeah. it has that feel of like you know, like a lot of production, a lot of like the classic production cards have like some sort of re reveal like that. Like you see a little mm -hmm. something and then it becomes something bigger. Mm hmm. Like, um, <clears throat> what is it? The fucking, um, what am I thinking of? The dream works is like, you see, I forget what you see, but then all of a sudden, like you realize that it's a, uh, a reflection. And then you see the kid fishing off the moon. Oh Yeah. Like the wait, what company is that? DreamWorks. DreamWorks. Yeah, yeah. Which little I like that little fun fact. Uh huh. Uh, Michael Jackson thought he came up with that logo, and despised Steven Spielberg for stealing his idea. Oh, the moon. Yeah, someone fishing he off the moon. Oh, he thought he came up with the moon. Yeah, and there's uh, one of his his maids said that uh, he would like piss and shit on the carpet, and uh, when uh, Steven Spielberg won, I forget what he won an Oscar for, but when he won one of his Oscar, he just sat there, arms crossed, pointing at the TV, going, "You're a bad man. You're a really bad man." Wow. Weird. You're yeah. a fucking weirdo. Um, yeah. I, who did who'd have thought? I know, right? Uh, <laughs> he he his thing, so I watch a lot of like behind the scenes footage of him. Yeah. And he would call people Applehead. And that shit just makes me laugh and Apple laugh heads? and laugh. Yeah, he'll be like, "What do you, what do you know, Applehead?" <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, it, there's all this footage of him going around just saying, "Applehead, Applehead, <laughs> Applehead." I'm like, yeah, this guy's. Of course, everyone wants to hang out with him. He's fucking hilarious, you know. <laughs> but then, but then you know that. Yeah, all the other stuff. I mean, I bet kids loved hanging out with them. They probably yeah. thought that was funnier than anyone else. Applehead. <laughs> uh, I don't know what Applehead is. Yeah, I don't either. But it's hilarious. The worry is, is that it, it it's something that's like it's like a derogatory term. I oh guess, yeah, I mean that is, that the word that it's like a weird slur that he made up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And if it is, don't please don't clip me. 
Stay in it. <laughs> Looking good. They're called Apple Americans. You're right. Sorry. <laughs> Applehead is a very beautiful person called. Wait, Michael Jackson. Applehead was Michael's nickname, and others in the family's nickname, but it was specifically for Michael. Huh? Oh. Well, there we. There it is. So it wasn't even insult at all. Yeah, it was actually kind of nice. It was a compliment, huh? Twist. Yeah, it'd be like if... Like I was to to really uh, stick it to you, I just called you Bud Anthony Diaz. Like, <laughs> like uh, yeah. I guess it's kind of... You got me. <laughs> wow. Bud really hates himself, huh? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do that screen for you, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make a song. I like that. I'll make a song while you're doing this. What do you use them? Ableton. Nice. I like that one. Big Ableton fan. I'm new to Ableton. I I was I went from like GarageBand to Logic, and then uh, and then landed at Ableton because all my buddies were using it. I'm like, I want to use it too. Yeah, Ableton's a little different, but I like I like its approach. Uh, let's see. What should I do? Damn, first? I never even heard of Reaper. Um. <clears throat> so here's Bud's view. Here's my view. Here's Bud's view. Here's my view. Bud's view. My view. We're a little bit bigger in my view. I'm a Reaper guy, but I use actual instruments, not these shitty fake ones you guys use. My keyboard here. Mm hmm. Let's see. And the other question is, is do I have a cable for it? Around. Um, how long is the thing you're making? Um, <clears throat> well, I only did about, it's a 40 second comp, so Hopefully it won't be longer than that. I mean, not um, the hardest thing to. Sure. Uh, I just um. What was I gonna say? Uh oh, I I just wanted to like have this like dramatic pause moment before I like fully pull the camera all the way out. Yeah. So totally. I think that'll be long enough. I think that's the key. Is like getting people to be like, "What is this? Oh, this is a clip of." A a wolf flying mm -hmm. or a wolf running wolves run yeah. right they're land animals they've been known to run yeah uh and then and then boom oh no that wolf's not just running he's running <laughs> in place <clears throat> yeah man it's gonna be crazy Oh, God damn it. An old cable. Hopefully this one works. Let's see? Oh, this one might not even... Oh, wait. Okay. Alright. Should I just do a, sh a song from Joe Jackson hated Michael because he wasn't his actual father, Smokey Robinson was. Interesting. Oh. 
Haven't heard that one before. Uh, I have not heard that either. Sam, have you ever seen the In Cold Blood remake with Eric Roberts? That was like the first one, right? Uh, it's on Pluto. That, that's the one, the black and white? One? I don't know. Oh, I thought that was the 60s one. That's the one you were talking about. I, you know, it's funny is I tweeted something today about, uh, about celebrities. Um, Goose, you mean Anthony Edwards? Uh, I, about celebrities, I was like, why can't we go back to like the way it was where when like a movie star or TV star does a commercial that, uh, we think their career is washed up. <laughs> yeah. Cause now it's like. If you're a huge movie star, you can, like, do a commercial and everyone's like, wow, you know, they did that Nissan commercial. That's pretty cool of them. Uh, Very nice of them. But, like, it used to be like, ooh, they must have fallen on hard times. You know? Yeah. That kind of thing. And I th the thing about that is, is like, sure, yeah, sure, get yours. But, like... It's all these, everyone's doing their shit for banks. And it's all like, hey, it's me, Samuel Jackson. You know, like, sign up for this bank. Or it's like, uh, what was the one I saw today? Um, Rosamund Pike. It's like, I like <clears throat> Rosamund Pike. And she's like, hey, don't you guys want to give money to banks? <laughs> and, you know, I just think that, like, uh, but, and then also the thing is, is like, you know, Bud, you and me, I mean, we are like, uh, we are not the most stable people in Hollywood as far as like financially. Compared, All right, shots fired. Compared to your Jennifer Garners. Sure. Or you're, and, and we come from a, a community where there's a lot of people that are, are working. Like, because they're going to these huge name actors, you know, those, those parts used to be going to people like us. People who people might not know. I agree. I don't think you should be handing in your name as an actor to endorse products like yeah, that. Yeah, it's so weird. It'd be like if I was watching a commercial and Chris Kattan showed up, I'd be like, Chris, what are you doing? Don't you have to be on a set somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> you've, you've, you've got Chris, so you're wanted on do. set. Yeah. He, I, I met him before. He was a nice guy. Yeah, he seems nice. Uh, but also, I will say this. If you meet someone for a day, it is not super hard for them to come off as a nice guy. Hmm. Like that's a <laughs> that's a really good point. I saw someone post. I, I had this relative who posted a picture of themselves on Instagram with the guitarist from Styx. That was like, uh, that was basically like the thing that they said was, uh, oh, it was like in a like a meet and greet, like before or after a concert kind of thing. And they were like, oh, got to do this the other day. It's so nice when you meet someone who's famous and they turn out to be a great person. <laughs> and it's like, you knew that person for two seconds. Yeah. And they were in a situation where they were just trying to be nice to you and, and have a good impression. I mean, that's really cool, though, that they got to meet the guitar Six. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Maybe I'm being a dick. Lydia, if that's true, I haven't heard of that, and I'm sorry. For speaking of Chris Kattan in such positive light. Oh, that he's a dick? Oh, someone in chat said that. Didn't Chris Kattan beat his girlfriends? 
Oh, did he? Oh, I didn't know. I going to hope not because I rooted for him on Celebrity Big Brother. See, that's also the thing. It's like, I met him. I knew him for a half a day. He didn't beat his girlfriend at any point of that day. Yeah, it's tough. So, and I'm like, hey, he, he seemed like a cool guy. And then people are like, really? Well, he beats his girlfriend. I'm like, well, then I guess not. <laughs> Sam, I have a confession to make. What's that? I think the uh, the fig and olive tamponade uh, has it's gone sour, <laughs> and I wasn't one hundred percent sure if it had gone sour at first because it ha it just had a little extra bite than what I'm used to. But then after giving the jar a couple smells, it's definitely gone sour, and I, I kept eating a good amount of it. <laughs> do you know what I do? What do you do? I sometimes, if uh, there's... Wait, what channel is this going through? If there's... Oh, wait, now, now this is... Here, I'll have this go through my channel. Can you hear that now? That sounds really good. Uh, sometimes I will, uh, the other day I, I had some watermelon and I was like, oh, I think this watermelon's gone bad. Uh, and instead of throwing it out, I put it back in the fridge. Sam, what and for? Wait to, wait to throw it out when it really, when it's like really gone bad. Mm. Maybe though, you know, maybe you just didn't have the emotional bandwidth to process, you know, getting rid of a soggy watermelon at that current point in your life. Yes. <laughs> your your exact process is how you make kombucha. <laughs> oh my god. I screwed that up. Whoa, it made like watermelon jerky. Sorry guys, I'm trying to make the the keys quieter. Is that better? some plugins how's the wolf going the wolf's wolf is going good my wife just brought me some wine uh, my wife what movie um austin powers no any movie where they're making a Bora reference. Bruno. I liked Bruno. That was 
Stefan. I'd, I'd love to, when you're composing, if I could give you kind of like a a story thread. Yeah. Um, I'd appreciate like if I could hear like a rise and fall. That's it. Okay. Like the story arc overall of this of this number will be it will follow the path of a rise and fall, and that's interpretive. Like how whatever you want that to be. Cut to Camp Town Races. <laughs> I mean, there's just that Camp Town Races part. <laughs> <with> you die. <laughs> yeah. I'm in After Effects and Sam is in Ableton. something there for a second hit capture midi uh this keyboard's cool because it has a button that says capture midi so if i'm just playing around i can hit the capture midi button and it will mm, just i like that capture the last like minute of stuff i've been playing there was something i dug here someone asked any sexy stone quacker stories? Hmm. <clears throat> sexy stone quacker stories. No. It's just a lot of, you know, hanging out with boys. A lot of farting. A lot of farting and burping. Nothing too sexy, unfortunately. What was, what was your favorite episode of Stone Quackers? Well, of course, it was the bug episode, which was the the one episode that was all about my character, and because my character was just like a side character, and, uh, and then they were like, you know, we should give him a whole episode to himself. And in that episode, I I become rich and buy like a skyscraper, and then I make all my friends work for me, and it was great. That's and cool. Miley Cyrus is in it, and I never got to meet her though because she recorded at her house. She didn't want to come in. Miss you, Miley. Yeah, because she doesn't want to be in a situation where you might be like, "Hey, I met Miley Cyrus for five minutes. Not cool." Yep. Crap! I gotta blur the other fucking. Ugh. Sorry, I'm putting out my. Uh, issues onto you. That's not right. Oh wait, the stream crashed? It doesn't show that it's crashed on my end. Oh, okay. You passed your drug test? I think that's a win. I We have to start seeing those little things as wins. Yeah.
I'm just going to lock it in, have it be kind of... Is this distracting you? No, it goes great with a slow motion running yeah. wolf. up mythic i don't know if you're talking about the wolf <clears throat> but this i'm just animating like a a thing that i saw in my dream which was a wolf running on a track like an old timey movie <laughs> <laughs> so dumb I'm just going to totally rotate the camera. Kind of keep it at like a three quarter by three quarter angle. Kind of, it'll be sweet. And uh, so the active camera is the one on the left, right? Uh, yeah. And then the one on the right is just like my stage kind of view. Can't believe you found a master class for free. <laughs> <laughs> Can I see it? Yeah, there's just like because it's not a perfect loop, there's like a mm. like a pop, but it's fine. It's all temp. Wait, let's see it again. <laughs> oh, oh, because the the uh, yeah. background. Well, the the dog see right there, the dog running loop isn't like perfect. Oh. Or the wolf running, <laughs> but it's like I saw that, yeah. Yeah. There's like every so often there's a little one. The motion's a little, oh. yeah. Also, the green screen comp is, uh, you know, a dog shit. Um, but I didn't realize you can kind of see like this mat around it. Wait, well, is the, the, can you play that again? <clears throat> yeah. And there's going to be another camera move after the where it lands. That was way too fast. And the, the background stops moving. That it does. Stops rotating. Right, because this... Thank you for... I would have not noticed that till an hour from now. <laughs> um, <clears throat> now, imagine it was still rotating. Uh, I can't. You can't. All right, all right I'll, do, I'll do the right thing. No, no. No, I'll take care of it. We've ruined that cord. Oh, is it this one?
That's horrible. <laughs> All right, there, there it is. That's the reason why. This is the backbone. Alright, I like it. I love it. Can you use more of it? Cream it. What's the emotion you wanted again? A rise and fall. If you wouldn't mind.
Thank you. 
since this is getting crazy, I think, for people. But I'm gonna. Inc I think this is causing us not to talk. I'm here. What I'm, I'm gonna to do talk. is I'm cutting it from you guys. Mm hmm. So the, they don't fall asleep. We can talk. We can vibe. Right. And I can work on this. And then I'll check I found, in. Uh, I found just like a generic galaxy. I'm just going to put that as a background. Nice. Nice. Temporarily. Give it like a little rotation. I think it'll be fun. Oh, yeah. There we go. And I'm going to make this very big. And we're going to give it a little curve. Like watching a savage car crash, you can't turn away. That feels like a compliment. Hmm. Hmm. Every time someone does that, I think they're going to go, no, sir, I don't like it. <laughs> uh, Rondo222, any news on the movie release date? It is not done yet. We need to finish it before there's news really on the release date. I mean, I you know, if I was to give you like an honest... Expectation. I don't think it would be done till the, or not like done. Uh, I don't think it'll be. I think the soonest we'd even screen it would be in the fall. So it's going slower than expected, but it's still on the way. Uh. What else are you working on, bud? Well, um, what did I just do? I did a short recently. Short, sure, it's more of a sketch. Um, that I'm showing at a couple local shows, and then I'm gonna put that on the internet. Oh, that's fun. When the time comes. Yeah. You know, that type of crap. Um, and then, you know, I'm just working on this wolf. Yeah. Oh, boy. That's not good. Um. 
Um, what else? What else he been been up to? Hmm. That's pretty much it. Sick. Yeah, it's not a bad life. I'll tell you that much. How's married life treating you? It's great. I think that everyone should do it. Um, for the wait, everyone for the, bene for the benefits. Yeah, everyone. Look, you and me have different political beliefs. Don't clip that. Listen, there's a little there's a little goblin, right? Who lives in the clouds. And when you die, you gotta meet this little sucker. And it's like Were you ever married? And you're like, No, I was never married. And it goes, Well get lost and then you just have to roam around in like the endless void forever. Yeah. Forever and ever. But uh So yeah, if you get married, you can get in. Oh, sick. Yeah. I don't have kids, Mr. Slipman's, in the tub. Don't think we'll ever have kids. No? Why not? Um. I don't know. Money? Like, not money in like, I want more of it, but money in, it'd be like, I fucking grew up poor and I don't want to put another fucking kid through that. Of like not being able to have cool shit and like just like struggling. But if I ever got like a lot of money yeah. out of nowhere, then like, yeah, okay, maybe. Maybe we'll like adopt a kid. When I got married, I hyphenated my name with oh, my yeah? wife. And uh, my whole family was, they were shocked. Their mind was blown. They were like, what? <laughs> So you're just not ideas anymore. I'm like, no. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. Do you know? Do you know what I'm? Th I'm thinking about doing. What are you doing? Or what I'm pretty sure I'm doing because I'm having a kid. Uh, a oh, kid, I know that. Congratulations. A kid that's gonna grow up poor. Uh, uh huh. <laughs> uh. I uh. Uh, me and you know because we had the 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 hyphenation conversation and uh the thing about it was was that like we were like oh, her name will be so long uh and so what we're we're talking about is doing a, a third name instead of doing either of our names Like a new last name. Are you allowed to do that? I would have to change my name. And then the baby would take my name. And then we would, when we eventually get married, she'll take my new name. But yeah, you can change your names. It's cool. Oh, that's crazy. I'll, I'll have to try. We're thinking forest.
Sam? Hey. Sorry about that. My damn headset died. You're right. Uh, I'll play. I'll play what I got so far, guys. Once we're ready. Uh, uh, I feel like I'm still in the build of it. No, no. Mm -hmm. A forest will be our last name, and with two R's. Uh, yeah, away, stork away, uh, you know, if you're gonna throw that down, we don't want to hang out with you, you know? <laughs> it's not like, it's not like it's Hitler, you know? Is is that really the obvious away stork away? <laughs> That's some backpedaling. Uh All right, these might, I don't know. All right, you ready? I'm ready, hope I can hear it. Do you want, do you want to st start your animation from the beginning and I'll do it as if I'm like. Oh, I'll try, I'm like rendering it. Um, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I'll have a good, I'll have a good five seconds here. Oh, wait, fuck, fuck it. No? I fucked it up. All right, just, just yeah, just go render away. Okay, go ahead. Hit, hit it. <laughs> it's like this really bad slow mo. Yeah, remember when they were doing that in the 90s a lot? Yeah. I never liked that. Wow, I kind of like it at this speed. When you're done with this, will you give me the song and I will put it over this? Yeah. Thank you. 
I've, n- I've never heard of that. That's crazy. All right, that's what I have so far. Okay, well, I love it. <laughs> that means a lot. Yeah, it gets very like eight bitty. Oh, that's a good question. What was the May question? I read it to you? A uh, naked melon watcher says, "Hey, Sam." Could I ask a question? Yeah. From your perspective, why did Sketch seem to have such a moment in the late 90s slash early 2000s? Was Sketch something that was considered cool in your formative years? What do you think about the state of it today? I actually think Sketch is more like kind of industry viable today than it used to be in the late 90s early 2000s i remember like when we got a sketch show it wasn't like there was a ton of sketch on tv right and that that's uh, uh and i feel like that might be it is like i feel like the sketch that was out there it was a lot more uh uh precious to people because there was like it was like there would be snl and then like another sketch show out and that'd be like it and now you could like there are a bunch of different options of things that are doing like sketch and sketch type things every year like the number of sketch shows a year is crazy it's a category at the Oscars or at the Emmys not at the Oscars that'd be weird if it was at the Oscars oh I didn't know that like sketch variety, I think is what the category is. Oh, that's rad. Is Eric Andre show sketch? It's great. Would you consider Eric Andre show sketch? Um, I mean, like a, you know, actually, Eric Andre show is more of a prank show if you think about it. Yeah, I can see that. Like the centerpiece really is like the kind of man on the street stuff mixed with the, but I mean I, I you know I wouldn't think someone was weird if they considered it uh, sketch. It's a good answer. What? Oh, that's a good answer. What's your all-time favorite sketch show, bud? Um, I really, I really clung to... Wait, wait, wait. Oh. There is a right answer here, just so you know. Oh, well, um, hopefully I get it right. Okay. Um, because, you know, like, this was my experience, so... Yeah, but... I'm sorry if it's not what you want to hear. There's a right answer. I'm just going to say that. (laughs) I I hear you. 
Yeah. I hear concerns. Um, I mean, aside from, are you saying like, aside from wise kids, you know, or like, all right, there you nailed it. You nailed it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Aside from <laughs> All right, uh, second, what's your kid? second favorite sketch show? Bro? That's what you should have asked. Yeah. Like, thank you. Okay. Um, <laughs> my second favorite, which like, who cares, right? Because it's your second. <laughs> yeah. But, that. Oh, um, you're right again. Yeah. Uh, was a uh, human giant. Um. Yeah, I was really into like, I re- during that time, I like really wanted to move to New York. I was like very much, I was like really into the idea of like living in New York and hanging out with all these cool comedians and stuff. But then I never did. Do you um, know what's funny about like Human Giant and our show and the kind of contrast between the two? What? Was like we did our show and we're like, yeah, we're like doing like a kids in the hole thing and we're going to like be in everything, you know, kind of thing. And, uh, it, then Human Giant do their show, and they have like all their their comedy friends in New York on the show, and we're like, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Oh, damn. WKUK versus Human Giant is the 2000s version of <laughs> Tupac versus Biggie. That's right. I think it's funny. Uh, uh, Will Greenberg wasn't on our show. Uh, uh, I think it, it, it's it's pretty funny, too, that, like, if you look at the people that are, like, now doing streaming stuff, like on Mm -hmm. like these like live streaming kind of like the show like this and a show like um like you're doing streaming and uh it's like it's like us like uh you know friend zone which is like paul and rob and then like heidecker has uh office hours and it's kind of funny that there is that like early I would say it's like the early YouTubers when faced with quarantine were like hey let's just like make stuff on YouTube again basically yep they answered the call is what you're saying yeah Uh, going back to the roots yes the band, The Roots. We are all big fans of the band, The Roots. Do you like that band, Rusted Root? What'd you just say to me? Do you like that band, Rusted Root? Hmm. I don't think I know Rusty Root. Rusted Root? You don't know Rusted Root? Oh, I way. can't. Oh, oh. way. On my way, that was a rusted root. Be dipper, I'm do, I'm do way, I'm do way. Hmm. You know that song? Mm mm. I'm do way. Um no. I'm do way. Is it all the way? I, all the way. I think it's on the way. On the way. Yeah. On, on the way, on the way. I don't know. Send me on my way. Send me on my way. Hey, 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 hey. Right. Uh. Oh. Let's see. Let's see. On my way. Oh, crap. What'd I do? There we go. Okay. 
Damn it. I fucked up my background. Now it's cutting into my ring. Oh, no. That's okay. I got to I gotta figure this. It's weird because instead of rotating all the elements in the comp, which would have been way easier um, than having to move the camera, I literally pulled the camera back like a half a mile and like did like a <laughs> spin around and brought it back in. And like I... It, I'll never do it like that again. It's like that's how it was conceptually in my head. That's how it was gonna happen. I feel like that's like that is the perfect like uh, after effects situation where it's like it always happens where you're like, oh, I can do the same thing by doing these two different things. Well, I'll just do it this way, and then you realize like, oh, that's why I don't do it that way. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, just like. To com- you pretty much just start over. <laughs> you know, like at that point. Undo everything, reset it all. <sighs> all right. I'm going to try my song again. It's going to get pretty weird in here. Bringing it to a new place. To- are-, are you having fun? This is like fun and relaxing for me. Yeah, this is great. I meditated this morning. It's like group meditation tonight. Oh, nice. Group meditation? Mm Mm-hmm. Who's your group? Everyone in chat. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, that's fun. All right. Take it to two. I'll be supplying visuals. Take it easy, Deja. Sally, you're a French student? That's cool. I have to finish doing my um, Duolingo French stuff. I was doing really good there for a sec. Do they have it for just for English? <laughs> like if I just suck at English? I mean, that'd be a good way to like get all the badges and impress your friends. That is true. I think I forgot everything I learned from it.
That, that's my song. Okay. That worked really well. Doesn't really have an ending, but that's the song. Me likey. Cool. Um, is what I always say. Me likey. Yeah, that's your catchphrase, right? Mm-hmm. Since literally day one. Yeah. It's bicycle day? How could bicycle day be on 420? Yeah, that's a good question. Oh, Abby, that's some hot goss right there. Yes, there's a video, Sam, of Timothy Chalamet making out with some girl at Coachella. Oh, whoa. I don't know. Everyone's creating a list of potential people. It's like an FBI suspect list. Wow. Do you think That's it's someone pink. famous or just like a rando? I mean, I don't know. Maybe just a rando. All right. I'm going to I'm going to pull up uh uh TMZ and Let's see. Let's see what's what the hot news is. My my wife and I were um, recently in Ojai and we were watching the like live feeds from Coachella <laughs> and we were watching uh, <laughs> the DJ group uh, Swedish House Mafia and everyone was getting like really hyped for Swedish House Mafia um, and they're very foreign. I don't know where they're from. Hell, I could guess, but I'm not 100%. <laughs> um but the guy they're very they're like old guys now i think they're like well in their you know maybe late 40s or something but they're these like three goons and the one guy who they gave a microphone to he keeps going how do you feel coachella like he won't finish coachella he just said coachella so he, so it's just him be like put your hands in there coachella <laughs> Let me hear you, go down. It's like fucking cra every time he would yell, we would just fucking start busting out laughing. Oh, uh, so good. Oh wait, here's some news. Oh wait, no, I think this is actually just a advertisement for another news site that's that looks like TMZ. I think news comes from TikTok now. This is weird. There's like ads on TMZ for like twofab.com and it's like more salacious news on, on twofab, but it's not TMZ. Maybe it's like a Voyage LA, Time Out LA situation where it's like a column within, you know? I'm, I'm afraid to click it. Yeah, this looks like just like they bought ads on, uh... Whoa. They say, Johnny Depp describes finger-severing incident in graphic detail. He said he forgot she also stubbed... St stubbed a lit cigarette out on his face afterwards? What? That's crazy. They're crazy. I'm just amazed that they say stubbed a lit, a lit cigarette. I would say snubbed. I would say put out. Yeah, put out a lit cigarette. But stubbed seems wrong. Yeah. And then Johnny De Depp is now saying, I lied because I didn't want to close that it was what it was, he said. I didn't want to get her in trouble. I tried to just keep things as copacetic and easy as p possible for everyone. I did not want to put her name in that mix. I mean... When, when did he choose to like take that route? Because he did, like, try and sue her for defamation and stuff. 
good question. Hmm. That's the that's the that was top page, top goss on twofab.com, which I think on is two a, oh, okay. which is like a I think a site that like bought space on TMZ. Poop in my bed. All right, wait. Oh, wait, I have the audio from this. Do you want to hear the audio? I received some news. That was. As absurd and grotesque and cruel. Um, and then I was shown a picture of what the problem was. I had gone to Mr. Bett and said, uh, she's, in Coach she's at Coachella. I think it's a good time to go downtown so that I can get some of my things, you know, and uh, get them out of there, especially the things that were uh, uh, precious to me, you know, children things, things from friends, Brando, Hunter, Thompson, whatever, <laughs> things that were important to me. And he said, I don't <laughs> think now. What a good name time drop. To go. I know. And I thought, it's the perfect time. She's not going to be home for two days. And then he showed me a photograph on his telephone of... Uh, Objection, Your Honor. Also your side. It, it's a photograph, Your Honor. As being relayed to him by Mr. Bett. He, he says he looked at it on his, on his phone. I'll rule the objection as the photograph. What was the photograph of Mr. Depp? It was a, it was a, it was a photograph of the bed, our bed, um, and on my side of the bed, um, was human fecal matter. <laughs> um, so I understood why it wasn't a good time to go down there. Um, yeah. Their initial is response to that exposed was, poop in the room. She shit the pillow? I mean, I laughed. No, she I, shit I, on it, his side of the bed. It was mm. so outside. It was so bizarre. And so grotesque that I could only laugh. Um, and um, so I did not go down there that day. That's crazy. Who, who freaking shits on their partner's bed when they're not even there? Who gave that to TMZ? Well, that was the the uh, the courtroom stuff. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, if if someone I knew shit in my bed, I would still go get my stuff. That's that's totally right. Like. He's like, whoa, she shit and the shit is in the room? I guess I'm not gonna go in there. That would I'm be icky. I'm not even gonna go in the house because in that bed, I know there's just like a turd waiting for me. I don't know. I'm with John. You think you think you have you been with him this whole time? Ah! <laughs> no. I just looked the at time. the picture of his thumb. Or his. No, that's not his thumb. What is that? His forefinger? I look this up. Ew. What do I search? Johnny Depp thumb? I don't know if we can show it on here. Oh, shit. Here, wait. Uh, now, now, oh. now look it up. Yeah, yeah. Now look it up. I okay. switched over to my computer. 
Hmm. Let me see. I'm trying to find a good picture. Maybe we'll search Reddit. Uh, Johnny Depp's gruesome finger on TMZ. <laughs> All right. TMZ. Ugh. All right. I think I found the headline. Warning graphic photo. Yeah, Let's yeah, see yeah. it. Oh, wasn't That's expecting it. that. Was not expecting that. Holy hippos. Oh, boy. It's like a bunch of. What's that stuff at sushi restaurants? Masago? The little, like, orange fish egg? Oh, yeah, yeah. The fish egg stuff. It looks like a like red masago in there. Yeah. That's too bad. You hate to see it. Hate to see it. Damn. Well, it seems like they kept the nail. How yeah. they how they how they get a big scoop out of it like that? That's crazy. Yeah. Could, and look how fat his fingers are. I yeah. Have, he's got like he's got stepdad fingers. Yeah. I that that finger's the size of a fucking thumb. Yeah. Oh, I love the third photo is just a clean photo of Johnny Depp with an arrow pointing at which thumb, just so you know exactly. <laughs> which finger, yeah. There's no. Which thumb, yeah. No, actually, you're yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, is it a finger? No, sorry. It's a finger. You're right. Oh, weird. I take that back. This is actually a photo after it healed. My bad. I was looking at the thumb. The oh, finger okay. was the injured one. It's just he, he, he just got butt finger. Then now. she came down to the bar and found me there. And of course started screaming, Oh, you're drinking again, yeah, the monster and all that. Um So she reached she 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 walked up to me and reached and grabbed the the bottle of vodka and then just uh kind of stood back and then proceeded hurled it all over at me. And and it it uh, it just went <laughs> right past my head and smashed behind me. Uh, so I stood up and I walked behind the bar, and there was a larger bottle of vodka, the kind with the handle, you know, on it. I grabbed that and I went and I sat in my seat again. I opened the bottle and I poured myself a shot and drank it. Ms. Heard was flinging insults uh, left, drank right, and center. And fucking cool while I did. She then grabbed that bottle and, uh, and threw that at me. Um, and the way that the, the way that the bar was situ situated and w w where Miss Herb was, so if, 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 if I could show you, so if, if this is the bar where the glass was and the bottles, this was the bar and I'm sitting here like this. Right now he's he's kind of describing it away there, from the microphone. She went there. And so I was leaning like this in the chair, looking at her. First bottle went, then got the other bottle shot. Takes the second bottle, which is the larger one. I'm in this position again, and my my hand is on the edge of the bar like like that you know leaning over the fingers like that and uh she threw the large bottle and it made contact and shattered uh everywhere and i, I honestly didn't i didn't feel the pain 
at first at all. I felt no pain whatsoever. What I felt was, um, I felt heat. I felt heat and I felt um, as did if you, something were dripping down my hand, you know. But did you get in trouble with um, Nightbot? And then I looked down and... Yeah, I tried to post a link to this, or to the, the finger the, video, the, or finger photo. The tip of my finger had been severed and uh, I was looking directly at my bones sticking out and uh, the 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 meaty portion of your the inside of your finger the um, how do you think he chooses what and it was, to wear on to court? Blood was just uh, pouring. That's a good question. Out, and at that point, hey Rod, what's up, Rod? I I I, I think that I went into some sort of. I, I don't know what a nervous breakdown feels like. He's that's so dramatic. The closest that I've ever been. I mean, I that's why he he makes the big bucks, right? Sense. And I knew in my mind and in my heart exactly. This is this is not life. This is not life. <laughs> no one should have to go through this. And and as I said, this this feeling of nervous being in a, in the middle of some sort of nervous breakdown, I started to write with my blood in my own blood on the on the walls, um, little reminders from our past. Okay. That um, no. Nope represented lies that she had told me and lies that I had yeah it's kind of like your own Johnny Depp memento I get it um yeah I get it you are unwell sir like uh she cut my finger off uh I'm just gonna look at my finger for a while be like this isn't life and then write down her lies on the wall in my blood yeah, breakups are never easy. <laughs> they are you literally I mean? Joker and Harley Quinn. <laughs> mm. They are. Yeah. I mean, like, they are Joker and Harley Quinn if uh, uh, whoever made Suicide Squad did, like, a really good job of making them more exciting than they actually hmm. are. Yeah. He is a he is a a senior in high school. He is like a goth kid, you know? Yeah. He is very proud of like how drunk he gets. He's like, "Well, I was drinking and then I took another shot." Drank it down. Didn't cough nothing. And then I, uh, you know, I wanted to get back because, you know, I had my uh, autographed Big Lebowski poster back at <laughs> my... Um, but... I've had... I, yes. I, I, gotta, I gotta get headed. This has been a really fun stream, but... This is good. I finished... I ate my whole dinner on stream... Nice. I've just I did so much stuff, and you know what? This is really coming together. And uh, once I can fix whatever I did with the background, and then I'm gonna goof around with some more. But I think this will work. It's very cool. And I'll thanks say, for I'll the support. Send you my song. Uh, where can people, it. where can people find your channel? Oh, here. Oh, wait, I can't post links, but uh, it's uh, twitch.tv slash Bud Anthony. And I stream from time to time. But I'm Bud Anthony Diaz. Basically on everything. Twitter, Instagram, just go, Twitch. Go to your Twitch channel on on the browser. Then oh, she came smart. Down okay, well, you play us out to with the bar this. and found me there. No, that just like auto-played. And of course, oh, started okay. screaming. And of course, <laughs> was screaming. 
when she came down to the bar. Uh, there he is. There's Bud's channel. And the guy telling him to make an intro video. Yeah, I know I should. Thank you. I uh, love this guy. He helps me out. Let's see. Who am I? Thanks, guys, for coming out. Uh, I believe there is a Self Suck Saturday this week. I uh, was going to make a promo for that, but then I forgot to check Did you with pick everyone. somebody? Did you pick somebody to raid? No, not yet. Oh, you want to raid one of my friends? Yeah, sure. Oh, hell yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, we should do a VR stream. Oh, yeah, totally. Will you do my friend Sarah? She's cool. Yeah, sure. She plays... Uh, like fps games she really runs with the with the big guns she's very good what's her name her name's sarah i just posted it in the chat it's oh, like ferrocia ferrocia all right cool yeah, she'll be stoked tell tell them bud sent you yeah away stork away nighty night don't let the amber <laughs> herd bite <laughs> Nighty night. Nighty night. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right. Did the damn thing. <laughs>